Okay guys, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to cook this braised chicken. Okay, so the ingredients we're going to need are just some boneless chicken, carrots, celery, onion, garlic, tomato paste, and chicken broth. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut the carrot just about 3 8 of an inch. At the end, it should look all like this. Now put it in your little cup cup. We're going to do the same thing with the celery. Cut it about 3 8 of an inch, just like that. All right, now it's time to dice up that onion. Now don't cut too small or the onion is going to melt away. Make it a little bigger so that there are some textures when you bite into it later on. When it comes to garlic, cut those bad boys up and add as many as you want. There's no rules on how much garlic you want to put in this dish. The next thing you want to do is heat up the pan. Then you can add any oil you want. I like to use sunflower oil and avocado oil. And once you feel it deep in your heart that the pan is ready, time to add your chicken baby. Boom, 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 boom. Then add some little bit salt on the top of that. So this is the most important part. You want your chicken to be cooked all well rounded, okay? So flip it upside down and check for the brownness and make sure there's no more pink spot on the chicken or else you're gonna be eating salmonella. You don't want that happening. So make sure you cook all around the chicken. Once the chicken is all cooked, take out the chicken and just put it on the plate to the side. Then just add your onion and your delicious, delicious garlic. Stir it up. Make sure the onion and the garlic catches all that chicken oil and that avocado oil or any oil that you have put in this dish. What I like to do is just grab a spoonful of tomato paste and put it in the middle. Then once I put it in the middle, I just mix it around with the onion and the garlic until it's fully melted. Stir it up and then just add just a little, a little chicken broth so that way the tomato paste gets a little soggy and you can mix it better. Once everything looks so good and nicely mixed, you want to add back your chicken. Then put some black pepper on that bad boy. Ching, ching, ching. And for the final touch, you want to add the chicken broth. But you don't want to soak up the whole, whole dish. You just add the chicken broth halfway. Once you add that chicken broth, it's time for you to put the carrot and the celery. Sprinkle that thing up, make it colorful, and you're good to go. It's time for you to relax. Put the lid on top of that bad boy and just sit back. Let that thing slow cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then you're good to go. Woo! Look at that, guys. That looks so delicious. Nice and colorful. The chicken is well browned, well simmered cooked. The sauce, not too much, not too little, just perfect. Okay, guys, so I showed you guys how to make a braised chicken. Now let's go for a taste test. Ooh, look at that. The chicken is nice and soft, baby. Oh my God. That's good. That's good. That's nice and soft. Mmm. I'm proud of myself. Mmm. That's really good. Totally recommend.